everybody, it's Brian with Buffalo Beer Reviews. Uh, in this video, we're going to take a look at another Buffalo Brewery beer for the Buffalo Beer Week. Uh, this, like I said in my last video, this was my 2015, one of my best Oktoberfests that I've had. So I thought I'd bring back the 2016 version and see if it leaves up to what I remember it. Uh, we have today the Flying Bison Bison Fest Oktoberfest Lager. Uh, this is um, an Oktoberfest Lager. It's an alcohol by volume of 6.3% with an IBU of 18. This is a German Pilsner with Vienna Munich malts, uh, which give it a rich malty flavor and an orange amber color. Uh, the spice of the hops balance this beer perfectly, and it's available for a limited time only in the fall from one of my favorites in Buffalo, Flying Bisons. Let's take a look at this beer. Try to hold it up to the light here. But yeah, it's got, uh, all the descriptions are right on. It's got this very nice, uh, clear, like a, like a dark golden, I've heard it described as like a, like a leather, uh, type of appearance and color. Um, it's very nice looking. Uh, it's well carbonated. The head wasn't a super vigorous pour. Uh, the head kind of thin and went right away. Yeah, you get that that thin sort of smell that's reminiscent of like a pilsner. Um, it, it smells the part of that Oktoberfest style uh, odor. Um, you get more of the malty notes of the odor as opposed to the the hoppiness of it. Let's see how it tastes. It's good. It's not overwhelmingly heavy uh, like some of the Oktoberfests that I've had. Um, doesn't feel like it would it would fill you up after one or two of them. Uh, it's got a, a nice crisp flavor, uh, a really clean aftertaste. Kind of goes right down to uh, baseline. And you can definitely keep drinking more and more of it. There's not a whole lot of different uh, hop presence, but you do get those different type of malt flavors. You get the uh, uh, some toffee, you get some caramel sort of, of uh, hints. Um, I've heard people uh, describe um, like, a, like a toasted bread sort of, of aroma and uh, a taste, but I don't get that at all. Um, this is not bad, uh, and I've only had two or three Oktoberfest styles this year, and it's still amongst my go-tos. Um, it's everything uh, from 2015 that I loved about this beer, and I don't see any reason uh, to alter my recollection of the Flying Bison Bison Fest. This is a great brew. Absolutely. This will not be a difficult beer to finish, nor I'm sure will any of the remaining five out of the six pack that I got. I hope you guys enjoyed the, uh, the beer review as much as I enjoyed making it. And get out there this weekend and support our uh, local breweries and buy some beer. Cheers.